welcome to Malaysian Chinese Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare a Chinese New Year salad known as Yi Sang. Yi Sang is very popular in Malaysia and Singapore and it is eaten throughout the 15 days of Chinese New Year. Let's get started. A tasty Yi Sang requires some crunchies and you can achieve that in a variety of ways. You can use store-bought deep-fried noodles but I like to make my own and I'm going to show you two types that I'll be making today. Here is half a packet of dumpling wrappers which I'm going to cut into strips and deep fry. So just take a stack and cut them into strips of about quarter inch thick. The second type of crunchies I'm going to make are deep fried taro strips. This is one and a half pounds of peeled taro which I have split into two because I'm going to colour one portion red and the other portion green. Before I do that, I will have to grate it using this um, grater. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Coarse strips. We are going to colour this and then deep fry. Colour one portion red with a few drops of red food colouring and the other green with a few drops of green food colouring. Now we are ready to do some deep frying. I'm going to start with the dumpling wrappers and I'll do it in batches. It doesn't take long at all. As soon as they are light brown colour, you can remove them. Now we're going to fry our taro strips. This will take about 2 minutes, a little longer than our dumpling wrapper strips. Again, you want to remove with a strainer. Our crunchies are all ready to be used. You can prepare these ahead of time and store them in airtight containers. We took care of our crunchies yesterday and so now we are going to prepare the fresh vegetables, seasonings and dressing. First up, we are going to prepare our sakot or mangguang. Here in North America, it is known as hikama. You want to peel this hikama? Simply by just tearing off the skin. Next, we are going to grate some pek chai tao or pak lo pak, also known as daikon here. Now we are going to grate or shred some carrots to give the salad a contrast of colours. get these fine shreds. Since this is a Chinese New Year salad, we have to have our pomelo or pomelo in the salad. To prepare pomelo, we just want to cut through the rind. This is a very small pomelo. And you can remove the 
sections that you want. So you want to use maybe about half of this small pomelo. Quite juicy. So you just want to take out the flesh. I think this should be enough. To give our salad even more flavour, we are going to need a little 5 spice powder and toasted sesame seeds. For that reason, I'm going to grab these two ang pao wrappers from Chomel. Measure out half a teaspoon of 5 spice powder and place it into one of these red ang pao wrappers. You also need a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds and you want to place this in the other wrapper. For the dressing, this is one third cup hoisin sauce. One third cup apricot jam or you can use plum jam. tablespoons honey and two tablespoons water stir to combine and then let it thicken slightly Then you want to add in 1 teaspoon sesame oil. I have only one or two more ingredients to show you and then we can put our salad together. Sushi red fish is not easily available here and so today I'm going to use smoked salmon or lox. This is a good substitute because it does look a little like raw fish. Here I have about 3 ounces of smoked salmon. And I'm just going to place a piece of lime just right next to it. Now we are going to arrange our shredded vegetables and crunchies on this huge platter. And I'm going to put in some homemade pickled ginger as well. I've cut this into strips, so I'm just going to place it here. And I also found this Chinese noodles at the grocery store. This can represent um, golden pillows if you like. So I'm going to put some of this as well. I'm going to fill up the platter a little bit more. That looks good. And I think we are done. Finally, we want to place our two ang pao wrappers with the five spice powder and sesame seeds, just like so. Our yisang is beautifully arranged and ready to be served. Some friends will be coming over shortly to help us with the lohei and you'll get to see what it looks like. It's going to be fun.
Wow, this is sweet and savory and definitely very crunchy. Brings me back to Kuala Lumpur celebrating Chinese New Year with my family and friends. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. And I would love to see all your pictures on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. Hashtag Malaysian Chinese Kitchen. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And do remember to subscribe for future recipe updates. See you soon again here on Malaysian Chinese Kitchen.